You ready? Yeah. So, Andy, I'm going to do you a quiz. Okay. How well do you know your laundry icons? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm at a disadvantage here because in our... You wear clothes. Yeah. Clothes have these little tab tabs on. They do. But in our house... You're not the one that does it. I don't washing. normally do the washing. We, I mean, that makes me sound like some kind of chauvinist traditional gender roles. Person. Yeah, but you you are we, a we, person who has eyes. Yeah. And you are a very observant okay. person. So I think you would have seen these icons before. Yeah, but I don't know what they mean. Well, does anybody really? <laughs> you clothes have these... Have the washing label. It's called the it's called the care symbol. Okay. And it tells you how the clothes should be washed. Yeah, I feel like I take that for granted. Yeah. Okay. They are different across the world. Are they? Weirdly, different countries have different symbols. Okay. But there is an ISO standard mm-hmm. that some countries have adopted, some not, and also it depends on the company themselves. That the icons might be quite different. Okay. But there are sort of commonalities. So starting simple. What do you think that means? Uh, well, it's it's like a pot of water, isn't it? Yeah. Like a tub of water. So that means... I would assume that means you can wash it. Yeah. It means machine washable. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Right. So if you saw that... Not machine washable? Not machine washable. Okay. What do you think that means? I think that means hand wash. Hand wash. I mean, or dip your hand in a bucket of water. Well, not that. I mean, you can do that if you want to, but that's there's not going to be instructions for that on your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's a few different icons for this, and uh, like the Ariel website has a different representation. Some clothes, I was checking like all oh, my clothes, some have different, but it's all pretty much yeah, the obvious. same. Okay. What do you think this means? Wash at 30. Wash at 30. I actually think I'm doing pretty well at this, by the way. Okay, yes, that's fine. We live in a country that uses the metric system, other countries don't. Oh, so if you're in Fahrenheit, what? Yeah. This always seems to be in degrees C. Okay, but so even if you're in America where they use Fahrenheit. Clothes are kind of made all around the world and shipped yeah, to I, all other countries. Have you never ordered a t- like a geeky t-shirt from the, the US? Yeah, but what it'll have is lots of different icons and sometimes like the label that you have, you might have like three or four labels for different countries. Oh. Yeah, this is, it gets complicated. What do you think oh. that means? Two dots. I mean it... Oh. I don't know. It's clearly something to do with wash because it's in the machine yeah. washing symbol. Yeah. Cool wash only? So these are the maximum washing temperature symbols. Oh, I would have never got that. So that's like a symbolic representation of the temperature. Yes. And so the more dots, the higher it could be washed at. Okay. Oh, iron or don't iron. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What about this? With the dots again. Ah, well, is it temperature again? So like hot iron... Level two iron. Yeah. Yeah. So one dot iron at low temperature, three dots iron at high temperature. I'm and doing it a lot better at this than I thought I was going to. <laughs> I don't know if you can ever if you can get like four dots or five dots. I don't know. You don't really want to be burning your clothes. I assume three is the highest it gets. Why not make it more like a progress bar? It feels like that would have made more sense to me. I assume because these are very small icons that have yeah, to be true. stitched into into clothes. It'd be legible. And legible. Yeah. Yeah. What about that? I've never seen that. Uh... I mean, it, it kind of looks like... Well, it's clearly something to do with ironing. Yeah. Top bit's iron. It looks like a kind of like... Maybe like a snowflake. So is it like cold iron? Cold press it? Do not iron with steam. Oh, okay. I kind of get that now, but I feel like the steam could have been a jet of steam, like as a cloud more. Yeah. I've seen a few different versions of this, always kind of the same with a cross through the... The lines coming out of the bottom. Also, they could have just done like a jet of steam. No iron, just a jet of steam with a cross through it. That probably would have made more sense. Yeah, true. What do you think about this? Uh, circle and square. So, can I have a guess? But that's it is a total the, guess. That's the point, yeah. Okay. Is it something to do with tumble drying? It can be tumble dried, yes. That's a good are, Yes. What do you think about that? Do not tumble dry. Do not tumble dry. Perfect. What about this one? <laughs> Tumble right cold. One dot. I've learned that means cold. Yeah. That makes sense. Do you tumble dry a cold? Is that what's cold? Well, low. Just without heat, I suppose. No. Well, that's just tumble. <laughs> that's not dry. That's just tumble. Oh, don't know. Well, surely medium temperature or hot. Yeah. Normal temperature. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What about black? Uh, what about a black circle? Hmm. Uh, what else is there? It's got to be something related to tumble drying because yeah. it's the circle and the square. Yeah. T- 
tumble dry no heat. Yeah. Isn't that the whole point of the one with the one dot? No, that's low heat, it said. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. But surely tumble dry with no heat, again, is just tumble. If there's no heat, you're just tumbling it. Does that does that help? You're not drying it? Yeah. How do you represent just tumble? Well, that's the symbol for just tumble. <laughs> okay. What about this one? Right, so, it's a circle again. Yeah. And the circle in the square was tumble dry. Yes, it was. So a circle on its own, I think, means, like, naturally dry it or something like that, or dry it out, dry it on the radiator. No. It is professional dry cleaning only. <laughs> <laughs> How does that signify dry cleaning? I don't know. It just it just does. Why not a little icon of a shop? That would make more oh, sense. Oh yeah, because like they've got the resolution to show a little shop with a with a person in you there can, as well. If you can do a little picture of an iron, you can definitely do a little a little sort of shop. I'm thinking like a very basic like house type. A little house with like maybe the little awning on the front with like the, the every shop looks different you can't have a picture of a house because someone no, might think but, that's for drying at home I but don't the, know. The, the caricature cartoon of a shop is fairly standard and consistent I think maybe anyway cross through it means do not dry clean okay what about with an F in the middle you won't get this but have a guess uh, it's free to get dry cleaned if you take it into your dry cleaner. No, I, I don't think direct dry cleaners <laughs> will, will offer their service no, for it free. Might, it might get reimbursed by the shop. Like if you bought it from the shop and they can, they offer a free... No? <laughs> That's the best I can think of. Like some sort of clothes insurance. Yeah, know. you buy it. It's a really expensive jacket, but don't worry because for the lifetime of you, you have it, the shop will pay for the dry cleaning. Sounds all right, actually. Okay, so the letter inside, letters F and P in a circle are for the different solvents used in professional dry cleaning. So you don't have to really worry about that. That's for the people in the shop to know. It's a bit ambiguous, but they know. Professionals will know what that means. Okay. And if it has a letter A in it, it means use any kind of solvent on it. Okay. Bit of terps. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Why am I taking it to the dry cleaners? Well? <laughs> if it's got an A in it, I'll just do it at home. <laughs> Dip it in white spirit. <laughs> it's going to smell lovely. <laughs> I don't know how this gets internationalised, because F and P might not be the same in every country. What do you mean? F looks like F no matter where you are. No, I mean the words. I don't know what they. I don't know what the kind of solvents that they represent, but that might not be the same in every country. Okay. What about an F with an underline? Again, I think this is for the professional dry cleaners, so we don't really have to worry about this. It's just interesting to know what this means. I don't know, because if it's a cross route, I'd say not that thing. Yeah. But the line under it's like, what, a little bit of that thing? or? Well, I'll tell you. It means gentle cleaning with hydrocarbon solvents. So one line underneath is gentle. So two mm-hmm. lines underneath means... Vigorous. Very gentle. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you kind of expect it to go the other way, wouldn't you? <laughs> like the dots... The more dots, the, the hotter. Yeah. The more lines, the more gentle we have to be. Yeah, which well, seems strange. But gentle isn't really... You were thinking of a scale from gentle to vigorous, weren't you? And going up that scale. But actually, this is going from gentle to very from, gentle. From normal down to very gentle. Yeah. But I don't know how gentle a dry cleaner can be. Like, it's not really defined either, is it? It's like just gentle. Well, what's gentle? What's gentle to me might not be what's gentle to the next person. I, I don't know. Is there an internationally international standard for dry cleaning gentleness? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just assume they would take very, very good care of it. They're not like ham-fisted monsters, <laughs> no, I assume. I don't know. Okay, what does this mean? So we've seen this symbol before, but there's two lines underneath. So, surely this means very gentle medium temperature wash. Yes, but very gentle, apparently, is, is the means the wool cycle on your washing machine. Oh, I've, I've seen wool cycle before. Yeah, so that's like a gentle wash, but we sometimes call it a wool wash. What makes it more gentle? What does the machine do? Does it just spin a bit slower? Does it kind of just gently kind of wobble as opposed to like really spinning? I just put together some icons in a quiz for you. I don't have all these answers, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Right. This should look familiar. We've had a letter in a circle before. So if you think about that... I think that means no water, as in dry cleaning. Right. Oh. No. It, it means, means professional, definitely have water. Professional wet clean only. Okay. And that symbol seems to be the same in all languages, even if the word for wet is different in that language. Yeah, okay. Well, I would have thought that, to be honest. Like, a lot of symbols are uh, 
like the English is transferred even if it doesn't like the letter is different. Confusing though, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know for full internationalisation. I thought that maybe like a water droplet would be better. Yeah, yeah. Using letters at all is probably not ideal. Okay, so what's that? Uh, Black circle with the cross through. Um, is it a beetle? It is not a beetle. I tell you, do not wet clean. I have oh, no idea minute. why it's black. Why isn't it a cross through the W in the middle? I yeah, good question. I don't know. Weird. Okay, now what about this? This is a circle with a, a line underneath, but at an angle. Uh, Very confusing, because you could be looking at your washing label at any angle. But, oh, but yeah, the, I see. But the, that, that particular angle is very important. Okay. Uh, Knowing everything that you've learnt so far... Well, I would say it's something to do with the gentleness. Right. It doesn't help you at all, because it means a dry clean short cycle. What's a short cycle, dry clean? I don't know. Okay. Just short. What about that one? Long cycle. What makes you think it's long? Very short. Very short cycle. It's actually a dry clean <laughs> with reduced moisture. <laughs> Hold on a minute. That's so, got no relation so, to the thing that it was almost identical to. How? If a, if a dry clean is dry, yeah. surely there is already no moisture. So how can you reduce the moisture in a cleaning method that's already dry? I don't know how dry cleaning works. Maybe it's not completely dry. It's in the name. It must be dry. I don't know. Right, what about that one? Well... Dry clean by a qualified snooker professional only. <laughs> it could, it's going to be anything by now. We don't <laughs> yeah. know. Don't know. It's dry clean, no steam. Hold on a minute. No steam earlier was two lines. I know. Through it. I know. We've already got an icon for no steam. I don't know why they're not using it here. Rubbish. Yeah. What about that one? Uh, oh, again, it could be anything. <laughs> it could dry, be anything. Dry clean using, a, a, I don't know. A baseball bat to beat all the dirt out. Yeah. Right. It's not that. It's dry clean, low heat. Of course it is. But what if it's a combination of these things? Can you just have, like, bits of a square in a diamond shape? No, I assume it has all the icons. Separately. All originally. Or, or individually, so. sorry. Um, yeah, individually. Yeah, but these are all information for dry cleaners, so I think they would they would just know. Yeah. What about this one? Right. That is birthday card in the post. <laughs> okay, I'll tell no. you. That is line dry. So you, you can hang it up outside on the line to dry. Why not? If they removed the bottom line and the top line, or even just the top line, that would look much more like a line, a washing no, line. A washing line? It's kind of hung over the washing line. I can't get this one. It's like a sheet that's been hung over the washing line. I think that's a good icon. Is it? How are you, how are you seeing that? I'm seeing a sheet waving in the wind. It doesn't matter, but I think it's a good icon. What's, next? What's this one? <laughs> uh, line driver make sure the line is really taut <laughs> so it doesn't sag at the top <laughs> it's like a sort of trampoline if you sort of if you run into it oh yeah like a sail like a sail sail yeah, on a I'm boat a, yeah right okay a nice taut sail yeah anyway it means natural dry I don't know what that means the way, so dry seems to be represented by a square if you remember the tumble drying it, it was a square it yeah. was a square had a circle inside it mm-hmm. okay so it's a square with a line inside it Dry slowly. Dry gently. Gentle dry. That sounds sensible, but actually it's dry flat. Dry flat. (laughs) Next one. So it's got these two lines in the corner. Line dry, but not in direct sunlight. That's what I'm going to go with. Yo! Yes! Bang on! In the shade. So these lines in the corner means in the shade, and they can be applied to any other type of icon. Yeah, okay. As far as I can tell. So... Three vertical lines now. Dry it upright in the shade. Drip dry in the shade, which I suppose kind of is the same thing. I don't know yeah. what the difference is between drip drying and just drying. I think you just hang it up until it, until it drips out. I don't know. Don't right. know. Now, triangle. I feel like I've seen this one before. Well, possibly. What do you think it would be? Mm. Well, it's something else, isn't it? So we've covered drying, we've covered dry cleaning, we've covered washing. <laughs> Shall no. I tell you? Yeah, go on. Bleaching is allowed. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have got that. No, okay. Oh, and uh, you can add the CL inside to mean bleaching with chlorine, chlorine allowed. Ooh. Uh, Adidas. <laughs> Just do it. Yeah, this is, that's Nike. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that, that means this was made by Adidas. Uh, no. 
But the, well, think about the lines in the corner. Shade. Shade. Bleach it in the shade. <laughs> it's nothing like that. It's non-chlorine bleach when needed. Oh, okay. God. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> why, why, why were you leading me down that garden path? <laughs> well, because I just thought that that's... Once you've identified, like, a design pattern... You think it applies to all the others. Yeah, but in this case, yeah. doesn't. Right, now, what do you think that is? No bleach. No bleach. Don't bleach it. Brilliant, yeah. Uh, also, for some reason, it, it could be completely black. I don't know why, but some, some icons are completely black. Okay. And that's according to uh, Wikipedia. So when I was putting this quiz together for you, I found all those icons on Wikipedia. But then I was looking in my own clothes, and I could see all these other symbols that we'd not covered yet. Okay. And those were special Japanese symbols. So are your clothes Japanese clothes? Um, possibly. Or they might have come from Japan, or they might have also been shipped to Japan. Clothes are made somewhere and shipped all over the place, aren't they? Of course, yeah, yeah. So ja- Japan only adopted the ISO standard in December 2016. Okay. So that's why they have these separate icons. And so what do you think this means? Uh, so is this two alternatives or are these the- going to appear next to each other like you've shown them? Uh, they're two alternatives. Okay, okay. Because clearly it looks like it's saying do the thing and also not do the thing. Um, I would say don't use bleach again let's go with the bleaching thing yeah no bleaching yeah actually i think this is so much more sensible than the, the triangle, triangle yeah because yeah. it looks like a you know it already looks kind of sciencey chemically well, really the, tri- the triangle looks more like it's saying no no tents <laughs> do not you do not wear while camping mm, yeah well don't machine wash uh do not dry oh. clean yeah so if it's no. don't dry clean i don't know why it's got waves in yeah that doesn't make sense yeah strange uh, but the this standard symbol for this would be a circle without the waves and a cross through. Yes, yeah, so it's quite similar. Yeah. Ooh, what about this? That's a snazzy blouse. It's a headless lady. Oh, actually, she has got a head, just a very tiny one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I have no idea what this is. No. Okay. Oh, hang, oh actually, drive. okay. No, I would have actually... I, I mean, I, I think that's got, sensible. That, that's yeah. actually a picture of something hanging to dry. Yeah. Rather than the square that you couldn't sort of figure out how it was mm-hmm. hanging. In the shade. In the shade. Yes. So uh, Japan is replacing these symbols with the more standard, which is the square and the, and the lines. It doesn't... Uh, it makes less sense. Well, but it's more standard though, isn't it? Sometimes you've just got to go with what the rest of the world's chosen. That's all I've got for you. Okay, well, was that, that was educational? It, yeah, now, now I'm going to be expected to do the washing, aren't I? Yeah, there's nothing stopping you now. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, right well, we're done. Yeah. Right, if for some bizarre circumstance you enjoyed this video... <laughs> Uh, you can subscribe to us or listen to our podcast which is called The Unusable Podcast. Get it on your podcast app now. Okay, bye. Bye. (laughs)